In this second quick start guide, we will create our first test case with a modified action. First, let's identify the test case we want to create. Let's go to Amazon.com again. Do a search for Dune paperback, but this time we're going to do it for books, so we'll need to modify the action for that. Click on Go. Click on Dune. Add to cart and verify one item added to cart. Now let's go to Reddit HQ, go to Actions, and we already have an action called Search Amazon, but what is missing is selecting the books part. So let's find the action we want to use, and there's a couple ways to do that. We can either go through all the actions we have, do a search, or we also have Actions Tree where we can search by tag, and here we have Search Amazon. Double click on it. Now let's add a new parameter. Click on that parameter button and type in department. Click update. Now because we're going to select uh, the, from the drop down, let's add it as our selenium action we have here called select item and element and drag and drop right over here. Now let's specify the values for this one. Well, we need to know the ID of this element, so let's open Looking Glass utility we have. Open the browser we want. Go to Amazon. And let's inspect this element that we want to select drop down from. We got the XPath ID, so we can copy this by pressing this button here. minimize looking glass and paste it right in the ID field. And for the ID type, since it's an XPath, we'll select XPath. Now let's select the variable we just created, department, to be used in visible text so it will be searched from the test case itself. So it's not hard coded. And since selected department should be the first thing you do, let's move this action as the first one by clicking here and let's click on save. Now let's go to test cases and create a new test case we can use all those actions for. Click on new test case, type in add dune to cart. We'll keep this as an action collection and for text we type in Amazon and press enter. Now let's populate this test case with the actions we want to use. So let's open actions tree Let's select Open Browser first. Then we're going to search for Amazon. So this is going to be an Amazon action. Then we're going to select an item. Then we're going to add item to cart. Another way to add action to the end here is to type it in here. So the next step is verify item added to cart. Just click and press enter and it will automatically add it to the bottom. Now let's fill out the values for the actions we have here. First of all, the URL is of course going to be amazon.com. Browser type, we're going to select to be dynamic one, selected by the execution. Search for, we're going to select, type in Dune paperback and department is going to be books and since we want to select the first item it's going to be index 0. Since the test case looks good we're going to select status as automated click on save and now we have our first test case. Let's add this test case to our existing test set. Go to execution, test sets Double click on Amazon Shopping, expand it, click on checkbox for Add to Cart, and click on Save. Click here, go to Executions, and let's run this. Click on Amazon Shopping, select Add Dude to Cart, localhost, make sure to select the browser you want to use, in my case it's Firefox, and click on Green Play button. 
And it goes to Amazon, selects books, types in Dune paperback, selects Dune, verifies item added to cart, and that's it. And we have our first passed finished test case. So now you can reuse all of those actions to create any type of test case you want with various type of data in search for various departments.